What is up? We are back. Today we have back. That was kind of cool. We're back and we got back. Day 12? Bro, <laughs> the past like four episodes I have not known like which, if it's 12 or 11 or, I'm sorry. No, today is 12. We got back. Definitely going to do, I'm in the mood for some weighted pull-ups. I got my belt behind me. So we're not far from the gym. Going to do some weighted pull-ups. Going to do some weighted pull-ups. Then we're going to go into cable rows. Or, yeah, 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 cable rows. Because the contraction, hold up, what the fuck? There we go. The contraction on cable rows is second to none. I'm sorry. There we go. The contraction on cable rows is second to none for me. And, like, weighted pull-ups kills my lats. Like, it fucking kills them. So, this should be a good one. Because as you know, you got to fry the muscle with something heavy and then do a little squeeze, squeeze. Yes, um, that is a philosophy from Sam, but I swear I've been doing that like for the longest time now. So, and then after that, we're not hitting biceps today because we're going to try a little arm day tomorrow, partly because my chest is sore. So we're going to hit some arms tomorrow. So no biceps, just rear delts, traps, and lats. It's going to be a fucking fire workout i'm gonna try to put up the tripod i'm gonna not care what people think of me because no one's actually thinking about you they're just thinking about themselves so uh, after cable rows we're gonna do some rear delt exercise probably seated dumbbell flies sorry uh gravity's a bitch haha <laughs> um i was saying seated dumbbell flies and then we're just gonna see what we're gonna do. Uh, probably do some lap pullovers and yeah, it's gonna be a great workout, so let's get it. So first off, we just started with 25. Did a couple normal body weight pull-ups before this, but you know, I'm, I went up to 70, 70 pound weight of pull-ups on this, but you know, you gotta work up there. So started off with 25, it was feeling pretty damn light. Then we went to 45 and look at that, boom, boom. It was also moving pretty fast. Next was 70 pounds. Um, this is pretty damn heavy to me. Um, I think I did like six reps or something. I'm not sure. The weight like, look, you, you just saw it right there and it's probably gonna happen again. The weight hits the machine at the front cause like it's too big or I don't really know why. You can see it in the mirror to the right of me and it really messes with my reps, but I mean, it's fine. Um, decided to like, I couldn't really do a full rep, but then I decided to, you know, drop it give myself a couple seconds and then do a real rep and lower slowly. So we did two top sets. Um, something that I want you guys to pay attention to is after my last rep, I kind of jumped up and did like this negative and that is what really dictates muscle growth. Like reps like that. The last couple of reps really help you grow. So if you ever do pull-ups, try something like that where if you can't do a normal pull-up at the end of your, your set, just jump up. Look, I wait a second and then I jump up and I just, you know, hold it as hard as I possibly can. Next up, some cable rows. Um, the contraction that I feel on this is actually crazy, like actually. So that's why I love going from cable or from pull-ups, weighted pull-ups until cable rows. And I do like a bunch of drop sets on this. Again, we only did two working sets because two working sets at full intensity, I think is, personally, I think it's enough if you do like three or four different exercises. Thank <laughs> you. 
Then we did some reverse peck deck and boys, look at these angles. We are getting better. Oops. We are getting better with these angles. Like, come on. I went at like 12 o'clock to my gym and it was way less crowded. So I felt way more comfortable just setting up my camera wherever, which honestly helped a lot. And then for these, um, this is the second set. I did like a little drop set during this. For these, I really recommend, um, it's hard to not use your triceps, but if you focus on kind of like extending your arms out and then like internally rotating your shoulders, it's kind of hard, but uh, like you'll understand what I'm talking about when you're sitting in front of the machine and doing it. So you just kind of pull your arms out like in front of you and then kind of like rotate your shoulders out um, and then just focus on rotating um, the shoulders when you're doing the rep, right? You're not focusing on just moving your wrists. You're, you're focused on sh rotating your shoulders and that's going to hit your rear delts way more while doing a reverse pec deck versus, you know, just focus on moving the weight and moving with your wrist because moving with your wrist is going to use your triceps a lot. Then we went into some single arm rows. I was doing almost the whole machine, like the whole stack with this. Um, so I felt pretty proud about that, but not on this set, but you'll see. The, this was just kind of like a warm up, you know, get ready for the, the high intensity ones. They yeah, did two sets at high intensity. But yeah, um, I love doing these because try them. I used to not do one arm work with back, but now I do just because you can really like turn your torso and really squeeze at the end, which like you can't, you cannot do when you do two arm things. So just try it. Then we hit some more traps and rear delts with, what are these even called, boys? Like over, like cable pulls. I think it's cable pulls, overhead pulls, something like that. But yeah, these are just amazing for building your traps and rear delts. I don't really try to like focus on one over the other when I do something like this. I kind of just, you know, focus on contraction and usually it ends up hurting both my rear delts and traps, which I mean is fine because I'm trying to build both of them. Then, oh my god, do not roast me on my form on these pullovers because so like my lower lats were dead were dead But like, you know, like the lat like right under your armpit or like right at your armpit That felt fine. So I was trying to just like only focus on contracting with like the upper outer lat um, 
so that's why the form looks weird because when I, I realized when I pulled my elbows in, like you see that, I could really just feel it in my upper outer lats. So that's what I was doing. And then I go into some lat pull downs with the wide grip handles. And again, don't roast the form. It was terrible. But that's only because I was only focusing on using, you know, that specific part of the lat. That was a great workout. Got everything I needed to, to get in. It didn't take that long. I felt strong. The pump was, I mean, look. The pump was crazy. Oh, Jesus. Let's see what we're working with. Well, I don't even want to take off my shirt. Jesus. I'm gonna go for a thumbnail. Let's see. You're not getting big when it's like impossible to take off an oversized shirt. Bro, what the? How are we looking in the front? Look at that lower like Jesus. That's gonna be the thumbnail right there. Hold on, let me do that. Sorry for not talking. No flex. Last one. What is up boys? We are back at home. I didn't do it in the car because I was in a rush because I'm low key supposed to be doing an internship right now, but I uh, went to the gym so I could actually record my sets in peace. And let me know if you noticed, first of all, God damn. But second of all, let me know if you noticed, like the angles are definitely better today. Um, I never really use my tripod that much, but it was empty enough where I could like angle my phone wherever I wanted, like put on the machines next to it. And I feel like, I feel like that made the ve the video better, you know? Like, um, let me know if like, you know, the videos, or at least this video is getting better. Cause I feel like I'm slowly getting the hang of this thing. Um, I knew from the beginning, like I wasn't gonna post a couple and they were gonna get hella views, right? And I know that this is a learning process and there's literally a learning curve on making YouTube videos, even these style of YouTube videos. Um, and so I'm fine with, you know, the first couple ones not getting a lot of views. What I do want is to is just be able to learn, you know, May, just keep getting better. It's just like the gym, like just as long as I have progress, like I was saying, like progress over everything. So as long as I'm progressing in some terms of every like day life, in some terms, I mean, like, you know, like the gym, making videos, you know, my relationships, stuff like that. I'm happy. So in terms of the videos, just like, please let me know, like, if you guys like this video more, what? I can do better. Please let me know what I can do better and please let me know what I like and what you guys don't like. And you're not gonna hurt my feelings if you say like, this fucking sucks. Like, that's okay. And like, you know, some of the things that I do post do suck, but it's just part of the learning process. And I'm fine with that. Cause I'm in this for the long run. Like, like I want to post pretty much my workouts like every single day for at least a year. Because I'm, be I'm gonna be lifting for the long foreseeable future. Like I fucking love this shit. Like this is this is my shit, you know what I mean? I love the gym. So it's okay. It's okay if some people don't like it. It's okay if I don't get a lot of views. Like I said, I just care about progress. Um anyways, it was a fucking amazing workout. Today was today I probably felt bigger than I ever have in my life and that's a good thing, right? That means we're getting there. We're getting to the bulk. Yes, whole milk right here. It's right after the workout. Microwave going off because I'm making some microwavable rice. Gonna have some rice, turkey, veggies. Anyways, anyways, that's besides the point. I felt bigger than I ever have. I'm feeling stronger every single day and that's all that matters. Um, 
that's pretty much the whole video. I don't have much else to say. If you guys have any questions, comments, anything, anything like that, just leave it in the comments. Um, and thank you guys so much for watching. Go get big, boys. Peace.